recursion in C sharp is right um, implementation of a method that can call itself. So, for example, if we have um, if we are to find a factorial of five, uh, that would be like we have to multiply five by every number deductible by one in five, like it's gonna be five times four times three times two times one. You know, that's that's how, that, that's probably something like one twenty, I guess. So, if we are to find the factorial of seven itself, so we are going to do the same thing: seven times six times five times four times three times two you know and uh, back uh, till we get to the end of um the the loop so that's how it's basically work times three times two times one and on and on like that so in how do we um, implement this in programming so in c sharp programming we have to um, accept an imp input of the number we are trying to find the factorial which is seven then we have to somehow make sure that the um, the implementation will keep deducting one from every number and moving to the next number deducting one till it gets to the last number. And that's where the um, power of recursive method, method will come in. But let's go into the from Visual Studio environment and see how we can implement that. So now we, are, we will need to create a method um, that can do that, static void. Uh, okay, it should be an integer, and we'll name that as factorial. So in the factorial, we need to have an input uh, of, the, of whatever number we are trying to, you know, get the factorial value of it. So it's pretty much simple. Um, what I'll do is I'll just like create a condition, like if the value of user's input, which is number, is equal to zero return one so because zero one is the factorial of zero so but else you should keep recalling the method again return number times and i'll call the factorial method again then number minus one so what i have done here is that uh, it will keep, you know, multiplying this number by calling this method again. So whatever number I give you initially will be deducted by one. If I have five here initially, here now I will have four. Then it will go again and call it till it gets here. I will have three. Let's run that and see how it works. Uh, factorial. Let's just first of all um, have an integer. Let's just call the factorial method. Then let's put five inside of there. So dot read line. Hmm. Okay, let's run that and see what we have. Okay, so factorial of five will give us. Uh, let's see what we have. Okay, let me try that again. Let me. So this should print it out. Factorial of five should give us like 120, I guess. So there you go, we have 120 there. So if we try factorial of seven, there you go. Five thousand and forty. Okay. So you just keep like multiplying all those numbers back and forth. That's how it works.